and we are dealing with the topic entitled be tender hearted be tender hearted all right ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 states the following and be kind to one another tender hearted forgiving one another just as god in christ forgave you just as much as what god forgave you god is saying to us be tender hearted with one another now, what does that mean? What does it mean to be tender hearted? All right. It means to have a soft heart for somebody else. How many times have you not perhaps gone and felt, listen, I've got a hard heart towards somebody. How many times have you not felt that somebody might not have treated you fairly and you've sat down and said, listen, I've got a uh, towards somebody. I want to say this. God is looking for us to keep a soft heart to one another. To stay tender hearted towards one another. You know, as we come on this wonderful Sunday morning, I want to tell you right now, God is looking for us to keep a soft heart. You must have a heart to try and help others around you. To be there for others. And so this is really important. We are, we don't have the luxury or the liberty to be harsh with one another. God is expecting us. To operate with a soft, gentle spirit. And to have a soft heart for one another. To be tender hearted. To be ready to help those around you. There are so many that are in need. So many that are needing your input. Needing your advice. Needing your comfort. And so I want to challenge you today. How is your heart? What stage is your heart at? Has hurt and people's um, disappointments and letting you down got you to the place where you started to get a hard heart? Or are you still tender hearted towards people? Do you still love mankind? Because if you cannot answer that properly, we need to let God start dealing with us. Now, I want to make a statement. Do not think that everybody's treated you right. Do not think that everybody's treated you fairly. I'm not sitting down and disputing that something might have been done wrong towards you. But it does not give you the liberty to get a hard heart. Because the problem is the minute you get a hard heart, you're going to lose the focus of a simple thing. And that is this. God created the person you've got a hard heart towards. God loves that person just as much as he loves you. You go, that's impossible. It's not. It's God. It's biblical, it's true, and God loves them just as much as He loves you. I know that that's hard for some of us to understand. It's hard for some of us to comprehend. But the truth is the truth. And we do not have the liberty to walk around with a hard heart. God's looking for us to keep that heart soft, tender, ready to do what God calls us to do. So this morning when we come around the table... Let us ask God to help us. If you need to ask God to forgive you, to help you soften your heart towards people, then you need to do that today. If you felt that you've been unfairly treated, we need to ask God to help you so that you could genuinely allow the Spirit of God to work in your life. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. And he said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. So right now, when we come around the table, let us celebrate the price that was paid for us. Let us thank God for what he's doing in our lives. But most of all, folks, let us pray that God will help us through the Holy Spirit to keep a soft and gentle heart, a tender heart. Father, we ask you right now to forgive us of any wrongdoing in Jesus' name. And Lord, just as much as you've forgiven us, Lord, I ask you right now that you'll help us forgive others. Lord, just to let go of those that have hurt us, mistreated us in Jesus' name. But Lord, right now I pray for a tender heart. Lord, that we will become tender hearted. Lord, I pray right now that as we take of these elements, 
that you'll minister to each one of us and to soften our hearts in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we just release your dunamis power to flow through our physical bodies. I thank you, Lord, that by your stripes we were healed. Lord, I thank you that every single symptom of sickness leave our bodies right now and I command a supernatural healing to take place. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I want to remind you that it's um, Sunday morning. All right, Pastor Donnie's going to be on at uh, 10 o'clock with Afrikaans service. I want to remind you that Teacher Lazelle has been doing a phenomenal job with our children's church, both English and Afrikaans. So please go to Father's Heart, uh, Father's Heart Kids and go and have a look. I've had so many of the old folks say they're loving the children's church because they're just enjoying everything that's going on there. And I just want to just say that they are pre-recorded. They are ready for your children. Okay, and for your grandchildren. So please let them watch it. Okay, English and Afrikaans is ready. Then tonight at 6 o'clock I'm going to be ministering, so please get ready for that. All right, so I want you to know God is busy working in our lives. Amen? So right now, I want to pray over our families. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray over our families. Lord, I call back the rebellious ones. Lord, I thank you that each and every one will come in line with the word of God and in line with what your plan is for them. Father, I pray right now for the salvation of each and every one of our family members. Thank you, Lord, that our family unit is strong. And Lord, I thank you that you will bless and minister to each one in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, Lord, that we will not be the same again. And Father, I thank you for your blessing and anointing upon our families. And Lord, I pray that you're going to do something special in each one of us, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I just want to remind you that um, we're running out of time for uh, the marriage bowl. Please, if you still not have uh, lodged your objections, please, I'm going to ask you to do it as soon as possible. All right, go and lodge your objections and if you're not part of the Godly Governance uh, database, please be, get onto that database. Go to fathersart.co.za and go and register yourself. And remember this, we are getting close now to the fire conference in Pretoria. I'm trusting that each and every one is going to be there. I'm believing God for supernatural miracles. All right, I'm taking time out to seek God for that. And I'm trusting that you're going to be there and be part of it in Jesus' name. I also want to remind you um, that if you haven't got our app, please go to iStore or to get Google Play Store, Dr. Arthur Frost Teachings. Download the app so that you've got all the teachings at hand so that you can grow and that we can help you grow to where you should be in Jesus' name. Amen? All right. I want to just get you our declaration this, this morning. But I want to remind you, do not just do this parrot fat the parrot fashion. Put your faith out there and say, God, I'm trusting you for every statement. Let's go. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go out and release peace. Release life wherever you go. And I'm going to ask you please to keep praying for us. All right? Please keep praying for us. So that God will give us the wisdom and the understanding on what to do next in this nation. All right? There's so many decisions that we need to make. And as I'm resting, I'm believing God that God will give us the wisdom as strategy as to what to do and how to do things in this nation. So keep praying for us and other godly leaders that are trying to carry the banner.